Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Mimi. This is Simply Sophisticated Over 50. Today we're doing the second half of the no makeup makeup look. We're going to be doing lips and cheeks. The purpose of a no makeup makeup look is just a natural look. So what we're going to do is we're going to just put on something that is going to add a little color, something that's going to smooth our skin out, something that's going to give us a finished look, but yet not overdone. You can achieve this look by just using a tinted moisturizer, or you can use a light foundation. You can use a powder foundation, whatever you choose that's going to give you just a natural look. A couple of options I have, as you know, I've been using the CC Cream by Physicians Formula. I really love it. It has a little sponge applicator. I've shown this to you a couple times. I really like this. It gives a very natural look. However, one of my favorites has also become the Laura Geller Baked Foundation. This foundation is amazing because it goes on so quickly. I can just literally, if I'm running out the door and I've got five minutes, I'll just throw this on with a powder brush and it goes on beautifully. It also looks very natural. It does not set into lines. It does not cake up. I really think this is a great foundation, a perfect foundation for a no makeup makeup look. So we're going to use this one today. The shade of this one is medium. And again, this is the Baked and Balance Laura Geller Foundation. I do have a little light eye makeup on. I already put on my concealer. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put on my face makeup. I have a nice powder foundation brush I'm going to use. This look is really super easy. You're literally going to just put on a little foundation. We're going to put on a little cheek color and we're going to put on some lip color. So I'm going to put my hair back and we'll get started. Putting the face color on, I'm just going to take my brush, tap off the excess. And then with this one, if you want to get a lighter look, you can just smooth the powder over your skin. If you want more coverage, you're going to pat it in more. This is just a very light look. Next, I'm going to use just a little contour. I don't want a lot of dark, deep contour, but I just want something that's just going to give me more of a natural look. This is the e.l.f. Cream Contour Palette, and I'm going to use this palette just for a little contour. I'm going to use, there is a shade here that's light, but it's almost too yellow for me. So I'm going to use this shade right here and I'm going to use just a little bit of it. I'm going to use my finger so that I can have more control over the product. Just right underneath the cheekbone, not too far down. Take a little bit more and put that down my nose, the sides of my nose. And blend that in. And then a little bit more for the top of my forehead on either side. I'm going to blend this downward. So as you can see, it's not a lot, but definitely something to give me a little definition. And for the blush, I want to use something that's natural. I have a couple of options. The L'Oreal True Match, I use this a lot. You've probably seen this in several of my videos. This is Apricot Kiss from True Match L'Oreal. Very natural color. It's on the peachy side. This would be perfect for a no makeup makeup look. But I'm going to stick with the e.l.f. This is their Luminous Putty Blush in the shade Maui. 
So we're going to use a little bit of that. I don't want to use a whole lot of it. Again, I want a natural look. You can apply this blush using your fingers. You can use a brush, but I'm going to use a damp sponge. And I'm going to pat just a little bit on my sponge here. Make sure I get enough product on the sponge. And another thing about using the sponge is I can kind of see how pink it's going to be. So it is a little bit pink, but I really believe that this shade is going to work well on my skin. I'm going to apply this just right on my cheekbone and I'm going to start on the edge because I don't want it to be in the middle of my face. If I put it in the middle of my face, it's going to look like I have blush on. I'm trying to avoid that. I'm going to apply it to the other side. Starting right back here. And then you can take that same sponge, take the other end of it, and just blend it in. That way you're blending your contour and your blush for a more natural look. And then I want to apply just a little bit, just on the tip of my nose, just as if I were out in the sun. You can also take that up here. Okay, we're done with the cheeks. Now we want to do the lips. For the lips, I definitely want something that's going to look natural. To prep my lips, I'm going to use Estee Lauder Lip Conditioner. This has been around for years and it works really well. And it doesn't cake on, it doesn't leave any kind of a shine, it just provides natural hydration. I do want to remind you, I am not sponsored by any of these companies. I just want to show you what works for me, what I've used. I've tried so many different things. I worked for Estee Lauder for years. I also worked with Clinique. I actually started working with Clinique. So I'm very familiar with their products. And this has been a longtime favorite of mine. And it's been around for a long time and I hope they don't ever get rid of it. After we prep our lips, we're going to put on a little lip liner. Now I do like this Pillow Talk. It's This is the shade 2 medium uh, lip cheat by Charlotte Tilbury. I love this shade because it's very natural and it goes on very smoothly. Love it. I also have a couple of other options. I've got NYX and these. this is what I'm going to use today. NYX Lip Pencil in Beige. But this one has a little shimmer to it, if you can see that. So I really don't want to use this one. And then I have NYX Lip Pencil in Pale Pink. And this shade is the one that I'm actually going to use because it's very natural looking. There's not any shimmer to it. And it's a nice neutral shade. One of the keys to a no makeup or a natural makeup look with lips, lip color is you don't want something that's going to be shimmery. You don't want something that's going to be too bright. You want something that's going to look like your natural lip color. Options for lip color, I do have once again this Pillow Talk by Charlotte Tilbury. This is a really nice shade, a little on the pink side. It's not the one I'm going to use. And there are several different options. What I'm going to use is Estee Lauder. This is Estee Lauder Crystal Pink. This is a nice shade, but once again, it's, it's too pink. I want something that's going to look more natural. 
this is Estee Lauder Irresistible, and this is a matte shade. So this is going to go on very smoothly, but it's not going to look real shimmery. It's going to look more natural. That's irresistible, but I'm not finished. I know it looks a little bit shimmery. You can tell I have lipstick on. You can tell I have on lip color. I don't want you to be able to tell that I have on lip color. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure I have applied a lot of the color. And I'm gonna leave it on for about a minute. I don't know if your mom did this, but my mom would put on her lip color and then she would dab it with tissue. And that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm just gonna dab it carefully. I don't wanna get it all over my face. Make sure you get the corners. So what you're doing is you're patting the color into your lips so that it stays longer, but yet looks more natural. And there you have it. Once again, you can use any products you want. There are no rules to this. Basically, what you're trying to do is get a natural look. It's a little bit different in the winter than in the summer. During the summer, you might want more of a dewy look. You might want more of a suntan look. But this would be just your everyday, no makeup, makeup look. Well, this was a lot of fun. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have not watched the first video, the no makeup makeup look for eyes, we actually take it to another level and we do an evening look. With this particular look, if you wanted to take this look into an evening look, what you would do for your lip color is use a darker lip shade and maybe a little bit of a darker blush. You could also use a little bit more contour. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. This has been a lot of fun. Thank you so much for taking time out of your busy day. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please hit subscribe and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.